When we first start a Fusion composition, one of the first things we need to do is to look up and add notes. And one of the easiest way to do that is to use Shift Space. This will bring up a menu where you can type in the node name, it will automatically search for the node, and then you can easily add a node to your note editor. Also, when you click a node first and then hit Shift Space, this will allow you to add whatever node you search for right after the click node. So this can be a very convenient way to add nodes sequentially. Now, if you're not sure what node you want to add, you can always come to Tools or OpenFX, manually search for the node, and then add them to the node editor. Another thing we're most likely going to do a lot when we build our composition is to zoom in and out the viewer to examine the effect closely. An easy way to do that is to hold on the command key and then use the mouse to scroll up and down to zoom in and out the viewer. Also, the position of the cursor is going to determine, as you can see, where the zooming is going to happen. So it's very convenient in that way. If you want to go back to the original, simply hit Command F. This will allow you to quickly do so once you are done examining the effect. Now, one of the nodes we're going to use a lot in our Fusion Composition is going to be the Merge node. It essentially allows us to connect a foreground to a background. But not very often, we can get it perfect on the first try. So a quick way to swap the foreground with the background is to hit Command T. Or we can right click the Merge node and then in the menu, select Swap Inputs. Both will allow us to do the same thing. But essentially what's gonna happen is that we can determine what is going to be the foreground and what is going to be the background. And also the changing color is going to indicate which node is going to be the foreground or background. Green being the foreground and the yellow being the background. So this can be very handy, especially as you progress in your composition and start using a lot of merge nodes. As we build our Fusion composition, a very useful way to view the effect is to use split screen. So if we hit one, this will allow us to project it onto the left viewer. And if we hit two, this will allow us to project it onto the right viewer. So for our text node here, if we hit one, you will see that it will then be projected onto the left viewer. And what's great is that it doesn't necessarily have to be connected to anything. So we can work on this, we can view it independently of the overall effect and once we're happy with what we have then we can connect it back to the original workflow also when we switch which viewer the node is going to be projected onto you will notice at the bottom of the node you will have a white circle indicating which viewer the node is currently being projected onto Lastly, at some point in our Fusion composition, we have to keyframe our effect to bring more life into our animation. And a good place to do that is through the Spline Editor. So if we bring up the Spline Editor and select our keyframes, change their interpolation, this will then change how the animation is going to look. So once we select our keyframes, what we can do here is to hit the S key. This will automatically add easing and ease out to our keyframes. And if you don't like this default easing and ease out, you can always hit the T key right after to bring up the easing and ease out options where you can manually change easing and ease out. And by doing so, you're also going to change how the animation is going to look. And depending on how much you want the easing or ease out to be, you can create all kinds of different cool looks. And at any point, if you want to go back to the default interpolation, you can always hit Shift L. This will bring everything back to its default. Okay, guys, I hope this tutorial helps and uh, I will see you next time.